Hello, let's set up a panel with the Soul Man to be used in an Ableton Live session. First, we'll create a new panel. And I'm going to title this Ableton 1. All right. And now for this first group of foot switches, I'm going to want to use the one shot command as I'd like to mainly use them for triggering samples. And here I'm just going to give them different CC number values and that will allow Ableton to discern the difference between them when we set them up with MIDI mapping. Now moving on to our next panel, I'm going to title it Ableton 2. And I'd like these to be momentary because I'm going to use them with plugins. This one can be latching that I'll use with a plugin. And this one will be one shot again that I'll use for the stop button. And I'll give these CC numbers on data zero and off data zero could be the same value since they're controlling the same thing. Now on data, I'll set to 127. And in this case, these are used as on off switches. So that's how that should be set up. And now we'll move on over to, well, actually I forgot to mention, if you like, you can title these foot switches and it'll show up on the soul man. So I'll just say uh, STP for stop. And maybe this one can be plugin one, plugin two, plugin three. Whoop. Just like that. So now that we have our panels, we can go over to Ableton and map them out. So here we are in Ableton. If I have a plugin that I'd like to assign to my controller, I can say, okay, this is uh, for the kick drum. I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna go into MIDI mapping. And now here is basically the engage bypass switch for this plugin. So I'm gonna press it with my mouse and then I'm going to press the foot switch that I'd like to be assigned to that. You could do it once. Okay, so now when I press this, it's a momentary switch, just as like we set it up. So you see when I push it down, it's on. When I let go, it's off. And you can basically do the inverse of that, and you can also set it up as latching, whatever you prefer. And that same rule applies to everything. You know, if I want to set up something to the play button, you would just go into MIDI and press the play button, then press the foot switch. Same for all the parameters. So let's check out a little bit how these foot switches were intended to be used. Again, in the first panel, these four foot switches are all triggering samples in one way or another. So there we have the beginning of our track. If uh, I want to, I can press it again and have it make everything trigger. So you have that big crash again. And uh, I've set this one up to basically re-trigger only the synth chords. So now I have another sample on these two switches. Uh, so here's a little shout out from my buddy. Again, you can re-trigger him. You can do that in tandem with the synth chords if you like. You know, have fun with it. Yeah, so that's basically, uh, you know, just for triggering. Now if I want to go up and control some plugins with these momentary and latching switches, I can do that by moving to the next panel. And here is the layout of what I'm controlling. This first foot switch is controlling this plugin called Robot. Oh, and the drum Resogate as well. Momentary, it's nice, it's fun. Now this is great too if you're uh, performing and you want to assign it to a single portion of the track 
or you know, if I'm playing bass, I can use this to engage some kind of huge distortion or guitar rig, something like that. And now this next momentary switch that I've programmed onto foot switch two is controlling a low pass filter. That's what this sounds like. Pretty nice. And now I have a high pass filter here. All right, this one is latching as we chose it to be in the Soul Man editor. So you can kick that on, leave it for a while, go do something else and then come back and there it is right there. Move back and forth between the two panels. more high pass and now uh, whenever the track is done and you want it to stop looping I have this one shot foot switch here set up to just basically stop just like that feel free to reach out to contact at sourceaudio.net if you have any questions and uh, thanks for watching